Do you remember this and all the excitement a couple of years ago when thousands of Ice Age fossils were unearthed during excavation of Ziegler Reservoir? This is near Snowmass Village. Well, some of those fossils now are part of an exhibit called Mammoths and Mastodons, and it's at the Museum of Nature and Science in Denver. Yeah, without all that mud you're seeing there. That's, right. the, that's the fun part. So joining us now is Samantha Richards, the educator at the Denver uh, Museum of Nature and Science. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having so us. So when people go in, what do they see at this exhibit? This exhibit has great fossils of mammoths and mastodons mastodons and other ancient elephants, life-size models of Colombian mammoths, which were 14 feet tall, and American mastodons, giant um, short-faced bears. It's lots I'm of in. fun things to see and do. <laughs> yeah. So when we walk in, we're going to be towered as this mom and child are towered over by these huge recreations of animals that once walked the earth. That's correct. And you wow. can touch them and take your photograph with them and have a real experience thinking about what it might be like to have been there during the Ice Age. And we showed a little bit of video, and I think we're going to show a little bit more. It was kind of neat when we saw the snow mass dig where they tell us more about those discoveries that they made uh, essentially millions of years ago in Colorado. Well, they're from around uh, during the Ice Age. They're from around 40,000 to 120,000 years ago. So not quite a few millions years ago yet. And they're fossils of mammoths and mastodons and other Ice Age animals. And they're going to tell us a lot about the ecosystem system of Colorado during the Ice Age. Okay. Why should we be excited about these discoveries, Samantha? We should be excited because we found more mastodons there than anywhere else in the world. Snowmass Village is now the mastodon capital of the world, and we have some of those fossils on display for the first time in this exhibit. And who do you think is going to be coming out to the exhibit? Families or? This exhibit is great for everyone. It's great for families. There's lots of interactive things for kids to do and touch, and it's great for older adults who just kind of want to connect with Colorado history and learn yeah. about what the world used to be like here. Absolutely. Oh, so really take advantage of the fact that this is a museum and this exhibit specifically is where you can actually touch things. You don't have to be afraid to do that. <laughs> things are not off limits for the yeah. kids and uh, for families. That's right. There's lots of great things to touch, interactives, um, fossils on carts that you can touch some real fossils from Snowmass that are 120,000 years old. That's pretty cool. So you're not just roped off. Do you have a favorite of all the goodies that are there? Oh, favorite. That's tough. Probably the sloth skull that we discovered at yeah. Snowmass Village. It's on sloth display skull. and it's beautiful. <laughs> That's pretty. It's a sound Neat. cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, more big news for the museum this week. Dr. Scott Sampson, well known as Dr. Scott the Paleontologist on the highly acclaimed PBS Kids TV series Dinosaur Train, is your new curator. He is. We're very excited to have him join us as our new vice president of research and collections and our chief curator. And he'll be here in a few weeks. Wow. So that'll definitely touch that demographic and, and get all those youngsters who watch the show excited about coming to the museum. Well, he's very popular, and I'm sure we'll be doing lots of more things with dinosaurs. I, I bet so, because <laughs> I saw that tweeted and on Facebook all, all week long, yes. so people are very excited about it. Well, Samantha, thank you so much. Thank you for we having us. We appreciate it. This is exciting. If you'd like to see more about the mammoths and mastodons, Titans on the Ice Age exhibit, it runs through May 27th. It's at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, so check it out.